I believe that it's important for the future that we're able to make all of this stuff here so that when the next crisis happens and we have interruptions in our global supply chain, we're able to protect the people that, that need it most. We design and manufacture hardware tools like 3D printers or robotics kits or laser cutters. Basically last, last Friday at 11, we uncreated every laser cutter and every 3D printer that we had. I started creating face shields as, as fast as we possibly could. It's, it's basically a barrier. It's one extra layer of, of protection. COVID-19 can um, you know, be caught in, in droplets, so it can enter you know, in your eyes. This bottom bar here can clip under your mask and keeps the shield nice and tight to your face. I, I think in, in many ways this also makes you feel safe too. We also, you know, enlisted the help of the, the local maker community to start printing the, the visor for these shields. We collected them all at our office, sanitized them, and then we assembled them and delivered them to various healthcare sites that were in critical, critical need. And then as that grew, so also did the demand and our understanding of just how big this problem was and, and what we would need to do to solve that. So we brought in a ton of equipment, a ton of people, and have started manufacturing face shields for hospitals across Canada. We're a couple of days away from being able to produce all the face shields our system needs and being able to turn our eyes south and help our American friends. This is a really hard time for, for everyone around the world, but I think what I've witnessed in the past two weeks is that there is such a vibrant, connected community that exists and hope that you know, going forward, we take this level of collaboration and care and, and find other ways that we can make things better, you know, here for everybody. Stay safe. We're all going to get through this.